السلام عليكم I'm so happy to meet you all after a long holiday uh, Our lecture today is about chronic lymphocytic leukemia Chronic lymphocytic leukemia and as the name refers to it is one of the one of the hematological malignancy it is a lymphoproliferative disorder Disorder, as you know, we have minor proliferative disorder and lymphoproliferative disorder. It is a disease of elderly, elderly patient, where the median age is about 70 years. Of those who are affected, male affected more than female, as you know, uh, two to one. Again, uh, uh, white people are more affected. than other races etiology of the disease not exactly not exactly known Many diseases, as you know. Uh, but they found that uh, they do found that this disease is more common among farmers, and they probably blame fertilizer as the cause, probably cause of chronic lymphocytic leukemia because of this dominancy of this disease among, among this uh, group of patients. Uh, uh, again, chronic lymphocytic leukemia is not more common among those exposed to uh, ionizing radiation uh, as what has been occurred in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bomb. And that's on the reverse of uh, chronic myeloid leukemia where it's more common among those who are exposed to that ionizing, <coughs> ionizing radiation. Anyhow, uh, clinical presentation more than 80% 80% of patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia presented with with persistent persistent lymphocytosis And uh, the meaning of lymphocytosis lymphocytosis is that the lymphocytosis that uh, continue for or extend to be present for more than three months. But unfortunately, this persistent lymphocytosis is not only occur in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, where there is many causes like viral infections. Infection, especially hepatitis B, C, and D, or tuberculosis TB, or moving cup. or 
chronic use. infection so, so many causes for the persistent lymphocytosis but the chronic lymphocytic leukemia usually cause a unique thing and it is malignancy which is the clonal clonal persistent resistant lymphocytosis and what is the meaning what is the mean what I mean by cloning the, the copying the same from the same cell there is copy of cells uh, as you know uh, the cell identified by a protocol called the cluster of differentiation and this is the ID of the cell when you are uh, coming or across a checkpoint, they identify you by your ID. The ID of the cell is the cluster of differentiation. And in malignancy, there is a clonal expansion of the same cell. So we have uh, the same like metanin, uh, CD23 or CD5 or CD18. Uh, cluster of this, the, the same cell expansion. So this is a unique for malignancy anyhow and especially in uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia and by this we can differentiate whether this is a, a really a malignancy or whether it is a, a polyclonal which is a benign condition so monoclonal is a malignant condition and to differentiate we need what is called flow cytometry to differentiate the clonality of the chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So many patients present with persistent lymphocytosis and this discovered during uh, routine checkup, like before uh, uh, or during preparation for surgery or whatever the cause is, and they discover that there is a uh, persistent uh, lymphocytosis uh, and in this we need, might need to send the patient to a uh, flow cytometry test to, to discover that there is a monoclonality with regard to uh, a malignancy of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Other patient, subset of patient, might present with presented with autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Or they might present with autoimmune thrombocytopenia or come in this subset of patients come test usually come test positive patient uh, or in a rare condition patient might present with infection like herpes zoster infection or TB because uh, this defective cell usually in the lymphocyte either produce a small amount of gamma globulin so the patient might present with hypogamma globulin or abnormal gamma globulin abnormal, so uh, the function of these uh, beta lymphocytes usually is abnormal function, function as cells, 
the other character of uh, chronic lymphocytic that we are when doing a blood film during uh, preparation of that blood film, the lymphocyte is always destructive. giving the appearance of smite cell. Smite cell means destructive, destructive, like this, during the preparation of the slide, these lymphocytes, because it's fragile, lymphocytes usually destructive, so it is characteristic of this disease. Diagnosis clinical suspicion second a blood film showing smart cell. cytometry show monoclonality of the disease. Definitely we don't need, in fact, we don't need the uh, bone marrow for the diagnosis of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That's more than enough to Treatment, or before treatment, staging of the disease. Stage zero, when the patient present with just lymphocytosis. We have four stages of the disease. Or stage one, when there is lymphocytosis plus adenopathy. And stage two, when there is lymphocytosis plus hepatosplenomegaly. Well, stage three, when there is persistent lymphocytosis with anemia. Or well, stage four, so we have four stages of the disease. When there is lymphocytosis plus thrombocytopenia, so we have four stages of the disease. Stage zero, when there is just lymphocytosis, monoclonal lymphocytosis. Stage one, when there is lymphocytosis plus adenopathy. Stage two, two when there is lymphocytosis plus hepatosplenomegaly, stage 3 when there is lymphocytosis plus anemia, and stage 4 we have lymphocytosis plus thrombocytopenia. The best prognostic prognosis is among patients with lymphocytosis stage 0, the worst is among the stage 4 of the disease. Treatment, usually there is no cure to the treatment, especially those are usually elderly patients with comorbidity like heart failure, angina, hypertension, diabetes, frail patients. So and if the patient present to this according to the stage of lymphocytosis just we might just observe the patient. Observe the patient. When the patient is present with anemia, probably we need to give a blood transfusion. When present with the thrombocytopenia, we might replace with the platelet. It's a, so it's a matter of supporting treatment. There is no cure for a patient with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. I hope that. Uh, I'm 
clear in discussing this uh, malignancy. And uh, if you have any question, 